Have you ever tried to install a P-trap or complete a drainage system for a kitchen, bath, or utility sink where the main drainage comes up through the floor rather than through the wall? If yes, then this video is for you. So here's what we're dealing with. We've got a two inch drain pipe that's coming out from the floor and our two supplies are hot and are cold. Because this is coming up from the floor rather than from the wall as is uh, more typical in today's builds, we're gonna have to build this out to make it uh, seem like as if it's coming out from the wall because we wanna use a P-trap coming from the bottom of the sink rather than an S-trap. The purpose of a trap is to prevent sewer gases from coming into the home. The reason it's called an S-trap is because it looks like an S laying down on its side. And the problem is, is as water flows through it, a vacuum will be created. This vacuum has the capacity to siphon the water, creating an air gap that will allow those stinky gases to pass on through and into your house. The horizontal run in a P-trap will break the siphon so you can breathe easy knowing that the trap will remain full of water. So these are the materials that we'll be using for this project today. Now we've got some primer as well as some glue. This is specific to PVC pipe. Whenever you're dealing with drainage systems or, or plastic pipes of sorts, you always want to look at the lettering on the pipe and somewhere it will tell you what type of pipe it is. And in this case, it is PVC. So you always want to get the glue that is compatible with the pipe that you're dealing with. So uh, we have this uh, uh, two foot piece here, which you could buy at any box store in short lengths for sh smaller projects. Then we have our elbow. Then we have our reducer. This goes from the two inch to one and a half inch pipe. And then we have our connection hub here. This will attach to this drainage pipe, but with this nut here, we will attach this P-trap. Now this P-trap is one and a half inch right there. And uh, they come in two different types. They is one and a half inch, and then there is also one and a quarter inch. The one and a half inch tends to go for larger sinks or kitchen sinks, while the one and a quarter tends to go with bathroom sinks. So putting together a P-trap is pretty straightforward. Here you have the general layout. So here we have a nut with a gasket and the P-trap portion right here. Now the tailpipe from the bottom of your sink is gonna go into into here, so this slips onto that tailpipe. And as you start uh, turning this, threading it down, connecting it to these threads here, it's gonna compress this gasket that goes just on the inside, compressing it ever so slightly, ensuring for what we hope is a watertight fit. Similarly, on the tail piece of uh, this P-trap, um, there is another locking nut that is gonna go onto it like this, and you see another beveled edge here. That's gonna connect right in there. And as you slip it over, and the concept's the exact same, you rotate this nut, it's gonna tighten down um, and lock this pipe into place. Now, at the very end, uh, we've got another gasket that is also going to um, uh, go right here. And remember this piece, this is the piece, uh, the, the connection hub, this is actually going to be cemented into, uh, into the PVC pipe that is coming out of the floor. And here is another threaded nut, so what's going to happen is this will go on like this. We'll put the gasket on here. and then we'll thread into place. And that's it. And if there was ever any doubt, all you need to do, at least with this OD package, flip it on over and it gives you some good instructions and a diagram. Fantastic. I like to start things off by visualizing how I'm going to connect the pipes. Here, I'm marking where I will cut the tailpipe from the sink as well as the rough height of the vertical PVC pipe. The P-trap is adjustable, so try and position it high enough so that items in the cabinet can fit under the P-trap without hitting it. When cutting, always err on the side of being longer as you can always cut off more if needed. 
After cutting the pipe, I like to dry fit everything together and again visualize where the horizontal portion of the pipe will be. Once I'm happy with the layout, I put a line mark on each fitting that I will be gluing together. This makes it easier to put it back together the way it was dry fitted. With the gluing part done, it's time to assemble the P-trap as shown earlier in the video. Once you have tightened all the nuts, turn on the water and check for leaks. It's a good idea to have a towel handy for this. If you see a leak, check that the P-trap pipes are seated well and tighten the nuts some more. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.